right, so let's keep our fingers crossed that this thing actually works. All right, so let's keep our fingers crossed that this thing actually works. All right. All right, so let's keep our fingers crossed that this thing actually works. That's going to be a nice triple echo. I set it into the mic, then it set it out loud on the TV, then it set it out loud on the phone that I'm using to make sure that my Twitch stream doesn't crash. Sweet! Alright. So just pick this up today. Let's go ahead and watch this. I have not played this at all yet. So this looks like the Gamescom trailer for this. So there's a little backstory. I've been a diehard Forza Motorsport fan for a very long time. I've had every every Forza since Motorsport 3. And I'll be honest, Forza 7 just doesn't excite me. It looks beautiful. Uh, it's just... To me, it looks like Forza 6 remastered in 4K. You know, I know they've done some upgrades to it. I played the demo. The demo's not bad. Um, I don't know, just just not excited for it. And something about uh, Project Cars 2 just really does excite me. So decided to go ahead and pick this up. And I'm going to give this thing a shot and see how I like it. All the different uh, disciplines of motorsport that this has, all the different tracks. The tracks are actually what really intrigue me here. Welcome to Project Cars 2. You're about to embark on the ultimate driver journey. This is Race Central, where you'll manage your racing career. Create and enter both single player and multiplayer events. Get involved with the community and edit your game settings. All right, so. Do I want to start a career? Do I want to, let's see. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and try a private test here just to kind of get a feel for it. What I always like to go to. Which car you want to drive. Cars are listed by manufacturer but you can also choose to list them by car class with the group by option. Alternatively, you can view them alphabetically. Okay. So kind of one of my favorite combinations I've always had is, let's see, I gotta find it. Sierra Cosworth. Oh, let's see what kind of liveries we got here. Kind of odd that the music just cut out on me there. Okay. From what I've been reading, there are a couple of quirks and bugs. I'll put it that way. I'll try that one. Here's where you choose which track you want to drive. Tracks can be viewed either by location, with each layout for the selected track displayed separately, or alphabetically, with all track layouts displayed in a single list. All right, so I just want to run through something here. So the reason I'm so excited about this game and not about Forza 7 is... 
Let's see. I mean, it definitely has other uh, tracks that Forza definitely does not have. Uh, but I want to do Rallycross here in a minute. Um, so Fuji is an awesome track. Um, okay. Oh, okay. I see how it works. Um, so Hockenheim, like the classic Hockenheim here. That's something that the guys at Turn 10 said that was impossible uh, because the track doesn't exist in real life, so they have no way of scanning it. So they, they're not going to put it in. Well, I'm sorry, but I would rather have this track and, you know, maybe be off an inch here or there, uh, but have it myself personally. So you got the newer Hockenheim, Imola, uh, which I've always... I mean, it's a track that's famous for a variety of reasons, both good and bad. Um, Laguna Seca. That's an interesting layout there on the... Um, the way that the image shows up there, that's interesting. So, of course, you got Luma. So, you got the 24-hour circuit and Bugatti circuit. Okay. Uh, Long Beach, of course. Just the one Long Beach. Ice track, uh, Monza. Uh, here we go, historic Monza. This is the one that I was like, oh my goodness. So this, you got the oval, you got the the combination oval and GP. Other than the stupid chicane that they put in, um, that's that's amazing to even have that as an option. Um, so Nurburgring GP, Nordschleife. Got the 24-hour circuit. All the different stages of Nurge life. Okay. Um, Red Bull Ring. That's, that's I think, a pretty neat track. Uh, Road America. So, Fantasy Suzuka. Silverstone, International, National, Stowe. Huh. Uh, classic Silverstone. And this, this is the one that I'm, I'm going to find something that I'm going to drive on this. This is going to be phenomenal historic spa and it's a it's a track that's obviously older than i am um i'm not old enough to actually know of this track actually having racing on it but it's 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 iconic in the history of motorsports uh texas oval i'm gonna grab an indy car and run that here in a minute that ought to be fun got some different rally cross tracks willow springs uh that's Willow Springs isn't horrifically far away from me. That's a track that realistically I could drive someday. So that's pretty neat to have. Uh, Zuhai. Zolder. Alright. So, yeah. He's, that's the reason that I'm so interested in this uh, track. Uh, this game and not Forza 7. All right, so autumn. All right, well, let's see. I don't want to jump into something stupid here. Oh God, Bathurst and heavy snow. Oh my, blizzard. <laughs> Bathurst in the rain. Just sounds phenomenal. I'll do Bathurst at medium clouds. Um, I'm going to have to get into the controls. I think I can do that from this next menu, though. Make sure that I have all my controls all set correctly. Is 
just myself personally, this has always been one of my favorite combinations of car and track. RS500 Cosworth, Australian Touring Car Championship. Um, I'm going to look here in a second to get the uh, R32 Skyline, the Group A R32. That's, uh, that's in the Japanese car pack that comes with the Day 1 edition uh, of this game. So I'll be checking that out here in a minute. Race time. As you look around the pre-race menu, you'll see a list of all the participants. You'll also be able to view a detailed map of the track by selecting the map icon. Apparently I've earned my rookie license. You can alter your car setup, as well as pit strategy before the race starts. I haven't done anything. Additionally, you can customize your head-up display layout and options to suit your personal style. Hit the start button. I guess they had a... I guess they give out the rookie licenses in a box of Cracker Jacks. Okay. Um, gearing. We'll go ahead and do manual. I'm not going to do clutch right at the moment. Uh, no. Which button do they have set for... Clutch is not assigned. Gas brake. Okay. So, gear up. I want. Alright, so I'm going to have to play with some settings here. I'm setting it to Forza settings, controller settings, basically. It's just what I'm familiar with. So, I'm going to stick with that for the moment. Sorry to mute there for a second. Um, yeah, what's that for? Oh, Coyote's lost. That's preseason. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. How do I change? I'm going to have to change something here.
Okay, yeah, I'm okay with that. Good stick for camera. Okay. Um. Right clutch manual. Alright, um, camera. Somebody was, I was reading a review about it, it said something about world movement on that. Um, the, uh, the adjustments in this are way better than Project Cars 1. I will say that. Um, okay, audio. Okay. God, I can change so much stuff. It's laid out way easier uh, to configure than um, the first Project Cars game. First Project Cars was really tricky. Uh, obviously, I'm playing on Xbox. I'm playing with a controller. Uh, it was very, very difficult to figure it out. Uh, to figure out how to do all the settings. Uh, to get it to where it wasn't like instant death. Uh, using a gamepad, using a controller. Which was uh, probably the biggest criticism that I heard of that game. So, let's see... Okay. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and let's go ahead and pull. Everything else I can fine tune and tweak kind of as I go along here. I just want to see what this feels and sounds like. Because like I said, the first one was really, really tricky uh, using a controller. And I had a pit load. Okay, which button did I have for pit road speed limiter? ABS. I guess ABS wasn't on. Okay, that right there tells me they worked on the gamepad a lot. If I fired up the first Project Cars and did that right there, that thing would have been gone and would have been wrecked. There's no way I would have been able to save that. Okay. It's a little numb, maybe. Alright. Um, is ABS on? Breaking is... no... I'm out of clutch. I need to find... Aha, okay, there's the... There's the setting, okay, so... Because that's interesting, I set it to authentic. So, it'll set to whatever that real-life car actually has. That's interesting. ABS... 
on, TC and stability control off. Okay. Now it's going to hurt. Yeah, I know what the comments are going to be. My the comments are going to be that my driving is absolute shit. And you know what? You're right. Alright, you know what? <laughs> Let's try something a little bit... Uh... I don't want to say easier, but uh, something that's not going to show as garbage as driver as I am. You know what, let me, you know what I want to do actually? I'm going to run Rallycross. Or, hang on. What do I want to do? Where's my rally cross circuits? Dirtfish Pro Rally Cross Course. I have no idea how this is going to go, but let's find out together. This is also another thing that steered me towards this and away from Forza 7 is having the rally cross. If this is any good at all, this is going to be 
Really, really nice. Sounds good. There we go. Oh! Hope my guy's got a Hans device. Okay, that's going to be fun. I'm going to need a lot more practice with that, though. That's really fun. Come to RC Racing. It's Rallycross. I have no idea how to run Rallycross either, so obviously it shows there. All right, you know what? I want to run something. You know what? Let's do Jaguar, Daytona, Daytona Road Course, and let's run, you know what, let's run night. 2 a.m. Spring. So let's do... Fog with rain. Fog. And... No, not snow. Light rain. Let's try this.
Daytona at night in the Jaguar in the rain. I know I'm absolutely picking the worst possible things for... Need to work, yeah. On my to-do list, Mr. Pilot, if very, very much so, is a proper setup that actually has a wheel. <laughs> I'm a console racer. I'm still figuring it out. I need a new computer before I can do... Uh, before I can do any PC gaming, though. My computer's running like a dual-core Pentium. Uh, that's not... Yeah, I know. Console pleb. <laughs> I know. The Master Race Gods will be sad. Alright. Um, set up. Nope. So. It's hard compound, automatic by weather. Okay. So I have no idea how to do tuning, so let's go for a drive first. And see what happens. Holy crap, it's dark. Do cockpit view here. Can out of first gear. That's pretty cool. Warning for unsafe crossing a picket pit. Oh, come on. Is Charlie Whiting officiating this? I can't see. Where's. Oh, there it is. Oh, God. Off the wall. Get off the wall. Breaking markers. Oh God. Oh. Straight through there. And around we go. God, that thing sounds angry. Oh, yeah, there we go. Right in the wall. It's not that I expected it to be... Hang on. It's not that I expected it to be bright at dark, but uh, if you watch the actual 24-hour race, like, you can see, like, when you... Infield's a little bit different. Infield is a little dark in real life. And again, I'm the one that picked fog, so I bet you it's the fog more than anything, but... Oh, yeah, it's a little wet. I like, for example, when I get up in the banking, like normally you can see around the banking further. Alright. That's getting a little bit better. 
think the fog's letting up is what it is. But normally, like, you can see further down to Baxter's. Like, you should be able to see turn three from here. I drive straight in the wall because I look down at my phone to see chat. I will say this feels really fun. Like, here, I should be able to see the trioval. The trioval should be lit up. I should try the go-kart. Oh, God. That was like my Achilles heel on the first Project Cars. That was actually why I put it down and... You know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna change the uh, weather a little bit there. Because I should be able to see around the corners a little bit, a little bit better. Obviously, I'm a total shit driver, too, but... Whatever. I haven't played anything with, uh... I'll just do... I'll just do cloudy. Hey, save. Jackass. There we go. Yeah, the go-karts, uh, because I'm a controller player, I and because of how bad the controller feel was on the first Project Cars, when I got it as Games with Gold back at the beginning of the year, I tried it once. I tried the go-kart, and it was absolute... I, like, I wanted to throw my controller. It was so bad. So I ended up not... Uh, not playing it for about four or five months and then finally I talked to a couple people and they said yeah you gotta change the controller settings you gotta do this gotta do that and you'll be able to tune it a lot better and I still skip through the go-karts just because they were still so damn hard to drive uh, but I was able for the cars I was able to make the controller feel a little bit better so let's see oh there we go yeah it, it was the fog that was messing me up okay so this is going to look a little bit more proper. Who'd have thunk it? You can't see in the fog. No way. I know. My mistake. Fuck Charlie Whiting. I'm going straight out on the track. All right, tires are cold as fuck. This is better. My other Achilles heel here is uh, that when I've raced Forza, I've I've always had a hard time turning off the braking line, like the brake, like the little red line on the track. Oh, that you know helps me find my braking point.
So first impressions so far, there's definitely a learning curve. Um, especially coming from someone who's mostly played Forza. Forza and is also a controller player. There's a little bit of... And there's a learning curve to it. But overall... Overall, I like what I feel. have to get used to it, I think, more than anything. Like that. Lap time deleted. Charlie Whiting, you suck. Why you invalidate my lap time? Can't you see I'm struggling enough out here? Come on, at least give me credit for those. Okay, so, all right, that's a learning learning experience here with the brakes on this. You gotta be a little more linear on the brake application into the chicane. Get on the brakes hard and then jump off of them, then that's, that's why I'm losing it in the chicane. So the reason I keep spinning out under brakes is surely something I can I can I can fix with the tune if once I get a feel for how this thing needs to be tuned and how to adjust the brake bias and the weight transfer. I would imagine that uh, as this game's out a little bit more, people have setups out there too, which will really help. Controller jiggle in the turns. So, yeah, I'm going to say most of my struggling here is purely operator error. <laughs> I'm going to need some time to sit down with this and work my way through and, you know, kind of get the feel for it. You know, with the career mode that they have in here, I don't think they're intending for you to jump straight into a GTP car at Daytona. Oh, uh, let's see. What else do we got? Ooh, actually... I 
wow. These old cars. Old Formula One and stuff. Albert C9. You know what? I'm thinking I might jump into Sauber and go to Le Mans. Or, or the Nissan. The ZX1 GTP. Or ZXT, sorry. R30, R89C, R89LM. Oh, there's that uh, Group A Skyline. What liveries is that thing of? The Calsonic car. Castrol Skyline. HKS car looks nice too. That was always a nice, like an iconic looking car. Porsche. So nice that EA doesn't ha isn't uh, being dickheads with this license anymore. Oh, the Langheck 962. Blaupunkt. Joe Stracing. Joe Stracing. Brune Motorsport. Kramer Racing, Team Chupon, Rune Motorsport. Those are some of like the most iconic cars. I remember from when I was a really little kid. I was born in '85, so I don't remember. Um, I missed out on seeing a lot of this in its heyday, uh, live as it happened. Uh, but I have kind of been able to catch up on it, you know, through YouTube. I've you know, seen some of these old. You know, the old GTP cars and the old Group C cars. I mean, they were just astonishing cars. Toyota. GT1. The new Toyota TS040 hybrid. Um, what do I want to run? You know what? I want to run Le Mans. What do they have here? Blood Punked. Just Racing. Dunlop. something at Classic Hockenheim. Oh, do that next. For now, we'll do Le Mans. I'm going to run this during the day. At 9 o'clock in the morning. Have some clouds. Do you need to see if I can turn the, uh, I know it's a terrible crutch to lean on, but since I'm just starting out, I want to see if I can turn, like, the, the suggested line thing on. Just to be able to help me out from not looking like a complete idiot.
All right. Let's see if that helps me out. Um. Go, go, go. I know that suggested line's a terrible crutch to lean on, but gotta give it a shot. The sounds and everything to this do... It's really nice. First chicane coming up here momentarily. I had to respond to a message here. Go down, first gear. So definitely one thing uh, that first project cars had that I'm having to learn, uh, but it's 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 okay because I mean it's that's the way it is. I mean it's real life is uh, um, the tires, cold tires. I mean, I mean, the reality is when you come out on a track in cold tires, you're not going to have any grip. I mean, that's, that is the way it is. So, you know, having tires like Forza, for example, I mean, the tires pretty much stick no matter what and then after like three corners they're up to temperature like that's not accurate that's not actually how ah, the grass it's like not how it actually goes so you know this it's m much more realistic this is m this is definitely much more hardcore you know it's gonna it's gonna take a learning curve you know, I'm going to have to learn it. I'm, I'm used to a little bit more casual racers. Oh, that's not good. And maybe I'll look into seeing about a wheel and pedal setup that will work for both PC and Xbox. Well, that, that might be something for me to look into. 
Something I can use on either one. Oh, and I died. And I died again. Oh God, where's the track? Where am I going? Oh, there it is. Didn't give me a braking marker. been into this for about an hour. I'm going to get into something a little bit more mellow. Something I should be able to drive better and not look like such a freaking idiot. What do we got? GT3R, GT3RS. Cayman GT4 Club Sport. Ooh. Try that. All right, on a smaller track too. What are my options here? Shorter track, shorter track, track that I know, but a shorter track. Making the mistake of jumping into these tracks that I I don't really know that well. Long Beach? Yeah. Ring GP. No. I want to run more of like a club type track. You know what? I don't know, Watkins Glen. Watkins Glen and the Cayman. This will be a slower car. I shouldn't, I shouldn't screw this up nearly as badly. <laughs> like I said, I just, I just really should have put it in the uh, description of the video that. Uh, 95% of the shit driving you're going to see in this uh, video is going to be my fault and not the game's. <laughs> this is... I, I am not a professional reviewer by any means. I'm just a guy that likes playing video games. Alright. Um, let's 
go ahead and roll out. Turn the wipers on, because why not? Oh god, I can... Oh, there's multiple speeds on the wipers. Nice. That will be helpful. It's one of my favorite cars in Forza, is the Cayman. Oh, a little understeer there. Okay. Might have to go see the race engineer about that. This feels a little bit better. Obviously, it's a much slower car. Bumpy through the S's. Interesting. Yeah, I think I'm going to need to get myself a wheel and pedal set up here pretty soon. I think it's time to step up. I find something that's supported for both Xbox and PC, so that way I can play it on Xbox here. Once I get a computer built, holy crap, that was interesting. Oh look, it turned into a Honda. VTEC just kicked in, yo.
That sounds funny. Holy smokes! Alright. That was interesting. Apparently I turned my Porsche into a Baja truck. All right, so it's yeah, it's about 9:45. I'm gonna do one one thing that's probably gonna result in certain death and absolute shit driving, but I gotta do it. Formula One, old Hockenheim. The question is, is what old Formula One do I go with? Go Lotus. Dang, I didn't even go up and see what all was in here. Oh, that's under the all category. <gasps> Open wheel. W. Caterham, Chevy, IndyCar. Ferrari. Any. F no Ferrari open wheel. Okay. So I think Lotus is going to be my... Because, why not? Senna's Lotus at Hockenheim Classic. Daytime. I'm not going to make it rain because that would be just suicide. This is, this is one of those tracks that as much as, you know, when you realized, you know, you look back on it and it was probably shit racing. Like at the time it was like, it's all straight line racing with a bunch of chicanes. But now that this track's gone, now it's like, now you miss this. Because the tracks today are nothing like this. All a bunch of tilkadromes. Alright, so I'm going to help myself out here a little bit. And turn a little bit of traction control on. Driving lines on. All right. Let's hear you, let's see how stupidly fast we can go. Cold tires. We need you to get some heat to these tires on the outlap and start pushing. Holy Wheel Spin City. Oh, there's a chicane. Oh, nope. Oh, sorry, that wasn't a chicane. <laughs> I believe that chicane back there was where uh, Nelson PK decided to uh, practice his soccer moves on Eliseo Salazar. Okay, 
Do I need to... There we go. Get after it, boy. Oh, God. Forgot where the chicane was. So this view right here is really interesting. This is supposed to be your helmet. Like looking from inside your helmet. It kind of muffles the sound a little bit. That's interesting. You know what, I actually kind of like this view because he looks around the corner. I don't know if you can see that in the video or not. But, like, he, like, looks around the corner without me having to manually do it. Like, he looks to where the track's going. The, the driver's head does. tire in our face.
wore that tire again. Hang it, cat. Get down. The size of those slicks. Alright. That was fun. One more th run that I want to do and then I think we'll call it call it a night here. Um to run
Lambo at... Imola? Yeah, we're on Imola. We're on Winter. Imola in the... You know what? No. I'm going to do this. We're going to do this right. We're going to run the Nordschleife in the snow in a Lambo. If So this is how we're going to end the night. Hour and a half long... I'm sure this is probably horrifically boring to everybody, but... So I'm having a little bit of a hard time kind of getting the hang of it. Uh, but then again, that's... Uh, I'll be honest, that's to be expected with... I mean, this is meant to be more of a hardcore sim. It's not... It's not an arcade racer. It's not something, you know, anyone, you just hand them a controller and you jump into it. You know, I'm kind of handicapped to begin with because I am running a controller. Definitely think if I'm really going to make a make a jump in this game, uh, this is a game I need a wheel for. That being said, the controller setup, based on what I felt so far, the controller setup compared to the first Project Cars, worlds of difference, way way better. Maybe a little too numb. I might need to fine in, you know, fine tune in some. Uh, what kind of tires we got? We got... <sighs> Sounds like a Lambo. And I'm in the wall already. Sweet. God. Okay, that's that's I, I need to learn more. <laughs> we're we're gonna we're gonna do something else to end the night. <laughs> that's too much. You know what I will do, actually. Honda IndyCar. IR-12. Texas. Oval. Uh, not in the heavy snow, though. 
That would not be a good idea. You know what I will do here, actually? I will do nighttime. Oh, no. Exit. No. It didn't save my car. I'm still running a Lambo. Oops. I want to run an Indy car. <sighs> Exit. You know what? I will say the loading times on the loading screens aren't terrible. Uh, you know, obviously, the Forza demo just came out this past week, and... I don't know. I gotta say, the loading screens were pretty, pretty terrible. All things considered. Now, this isn't exactly great, obviously, but yeah, still. All right. Driving line back off. Traction control off. Alright. We'll say I don't like how they did this wall here. That's not realistic, but honestly, based on every game I've ever seen that has an open pit road like this, like they have to do something. Running this car, by the way, this is the Brian Clausen uh, car. So, gotta run this. On the outlap until you get some temperature into the tires and start to build the grip. Oh god. Yep, easy. Easy on the tires on the outlap, huh? Sorry. Whoop. Knocked the rear wing off of it. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Yep. We need to start off down the banking. Okay, like that twitch right there in the first project cars would have been gone. It would have hooked me. Oh, it would have hooked me straight back to the right into the wall, and it would have been game over. So, when it starts to get squirrely, I can catch it, which is really nice.
Definitely a lot of understeer tuned into it. Chassis understeer and arrow loose, if that makes any sense. Is kind of what I feel. Like when I go to turn into the tur into the corner, it pushes. But yet, if I crank a lot of wheel in it, then the back end wants to come around. It's really nice having the... I like how they have the gears. It, I think the car's modeled pretty accurately. Because that's... On, a, on an actual oval setup IndyCar, 4th, 5th, and 6th are all really close. Running 210. Give me the revs back off the corner. I'm going to run more and then I'm calling it a night. Given the fact that I just got the chance to drive the Indy car, I'm going to go ahead and go to Indy. Run a few laps at Indy and then we will call this a night. Turn that back off of uh, nighttime. Indy does not have lights. Run some oval laps at the speedway and then we are done for the night. My cats are apparently playing peekaboo here in the living room in front of me. Hey, what the hell are you two doing? All right, so yeah, I'll go ahead and upload this to YouTube. Off of here. Hope you guys don't mind it. All right, the 37 mile an hour pit road speed limit regardless of tracks a little. Little ridiculous. Obviously. Holy smokes. Watch out for the slow corners. It's Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Slow corners? Oh. Trying to take the Scott Dixon line there. 
turn. Okay, now I realize that it's the oval configuration, but good lord, I can't turn it right at all. IndyCar drifting! That's going to be a fun way to end the stream. Flat through three. Almost flat through four. Okay. warmed up now. F 
flat through one. Flat through two, all right. Tires are warmed up, it sticks, no lifting all the way around. I guess. Okay. All right, so that's going to be that. Well, guys, if you've stuck with stuck it out this far, appreciate it uh playing around here a little bit my first taste of project cars 2 uh overall um i i have to say i'm i think i'm more of a work in progress than the game is uh the game definitely is is there um you know i know there's been some reviews critiquing some of the finer details and ins and outs and everything um Honestly, I'm not good enough, and I'm not... I, I don't have the right setup to be able to critique all the little ins and outs of it. Uh, but overall, I would say pretty damn good game. I love the track diversity. I love the dynamic weather. Uh, the dynamic weather, the dynamic time of... You know, you can change the time of year, the track conditions, uh, the variety of cars. Uh, it... It's not going to have the number, the quantity of cars that Forza Motorsport 7 is going to have. But all in all, I feel like this is a solid console. Or, I'm sorry. Solid sim racer uh, that is going to be way better on PC than it's going to be on console. Um, it's going to be way better with a wheel than it will be with a controller. But all in all, if if you can get racer, um, all in all, I would say this is definitely... A, uh, a pretty damn good game. So with that, I'll go ahead and uh, cut this off here. Uh, maybe here at some point in the next couple of days, I'll do another video once I kind of get a little bit uh, more experience with it where I can kind of showcase off uh, more of the game and less of my garbage driving. Uh, so with that, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching.